Hello, I'm Jin Ho Jung. Today I'm going to introduce our paper, Winnie, Fudging Windows Applications with Harness Synthesis and Fast Cloning. This work is a collaboration between Georgia Tech and Penn State University. Okay, let's begin. Everyone has a machine uh, like workstation, laptop, computers, or mobile devices. But as you, as you can see from the figure, Still, about 73% of the machines are using Windows operating system. So Windows operating system still dominates the market share. And it also means that many applications are waiting for being tested. But unfortunately, the testing Windows application is not that trivial. Let's assume one scenario. You are a Windows user and you wanted to see the image using the image viewer. What you have to do first is download the program and install the program to the Windows. And then click icon of the program and then you will see the GUI. Then you can uh, make some interaction with the program like click the icon to pop up the dialog window. Then you can specify the file location. Once you tell the file location, then the program will begin processing the data, like parsing the data. The last part is the one that we wanted to test, but there are several challenges to reach to that point. The first challenge is the GUI. Since most GUI use several user interactions, the fuzzer needed to emulate same user interactions. And also, the GUI is not terminated automatically. So for example, once you, uh, even though you open the file and finish the processing the image using the image viewer, the image viewer still remain as an open for, uh, and then waiting for the next user interaction. So, so meaning that it's difficult to determine when to terminate the program. Second challenge is a slow speed. Uh, usually the initializing the GUI is a heavyweight. And since Windows does not have the fast cloning mechanism like fork on the Linux, it is very slow to create a new process. And finally, the closed source ecosystem of the Windows make us difficult to infer the internal context of the binary. There are several uh, existing solutions to overcome these problems. Uh, uh, I will introduce two of them. The first solution is generating harness. We have the binary and researchers can analyze the program and, and then the expert can uh, skip the GUI by ex extracting the core routine of the program. In this example, since we wanted to test the input parser, uh, we can extract the parsing routine and make a much smaller program. Uh, looks like this. So the program so-called harness will have only file opening and file lead and close the file. But making the harness is unscalable because it requires significant manual effort if we don't have a source code. Second existing solution is persistent mode fudging. In the program, uh, we can try to ex uh, execute, execute the input parcel logic iteratively. But this approach is unstable because executing, uh, ex iteratively execu executing the same routine may corrupt global program state because Windows does not have fork mechanism like a Linux operating system. In our system, Winnie, uh, to overcome the GUI program, we propose semi-automated harness generation. And to overcome the lack of fast cloning machinery problem, we implemented the Windows version of a fork mechanism. And finally, to collect internal context of the program, we employ the hybrid analysis and the full speed fudging features. 
So our system we need is consists of semi-automated fudging harness generator and a practical windows fudger. From the user input and the target binary, we need, will try to generate the harness using the harness generator. And after we generate the harness, we deliver uh, the harness to the fudger and the fudging in the fudger, uh, we test the program by using the fork and the full speed fudging features. And especially the, in the harness generator, uh, we first uh, collect the run trace of the program to collect uh, API calls or the argument or return value of the each API call. And then we try to identify the interesting fudging candidate. And then finally we build the harness. Okay, let me, uh, let's me uh, let see the detail of the harness generator and the fudger. In the trace collector, we dyna dynamically capture the run trace. So we keep monitoring the relationship between the main program to the uh, library or the library to the Windows APIs. So if we observe any interaction between them, we dump those information. And we also dump the Windows API related event if uh, they are about the file. And once we collect the dynamic run trace, we reconstruct the control flow graph from the run trace and then try to identify the interesting fudging target functions. In this example, the function number one or the main function could be the fudging target because uh, these functions can reach it to the important file uh, API like create a file or the read file. Once we decide the fudging candidate location, we build the harness. So we provide uh, the uh, valid, valid file or invalid file. In this example, since we are uh, trying to test the image viewer, we provide a uh, correct image file and just a normal uh, text file, which is wrong for the image viewer. So by uh, running the um, uh, program with the same input, uh, we can identify pointer information because uh, we can identify different value uh, from the two different run traces due to the ASLR. And by comparing the run trace of the image and text, we can uh, also extract core logic extractions. After we finish the differential analysis, uh, we first build the skeleton of the code. Uh, so in this stage, we, uh, we, we determine the invoke the API names and uh, we set up several placeholder for the correct argument value. And then we reconstruct the control flow and the data flow by applying several heuristics. So in this stage, we um, place a correct argument value or the variable, or we can also even generate the, uh, several suggestions for the users. Uh, and then finally, we build several harness candidate and then evaluate to choose the best harness. Uh, this process is uh, one of the uh, most core part of the, our paper. So please uh, see the paper, or read the paper for the detail of the harness building process. And then for the, for the further side, we implemented, we analyzed the uh, internal of the create, uh, creating process mechanism of the Windows kernel, and then we identify the uh, correct way to emulate the fork behavior on the Windows. So this is the uh, simple diagram that we identified for the Windows version of the fork. Uh, we are introducing the detail of the fork mechanism uh, in our paper. So in the high level, the, we provide the fork interface, the same as Linux operating system by en reverse engineering the process creation steps. 
And then the focus table runs complicated initialization only once. And finally, to collect code coverage, we employ the full speed fudging features. So basically, we uh, set up the break, software breakpoint for each basic block. And if one input uh, make the program to visit specific basic block, uh, we record the code coverage by monitoring the interrupt from the software breakpoint. And then disable the uh, software breakpoint afterward. And then if the similar input hit the same basic block, we will not observe the coverage because there will be no interrupt. Uh, when we use the Winnie for the testing Windows applications, we observe that Winnie can support much more uh, applications than the uh, state-of-art Windows fuzzer WinAFL. Uh, in our e evaluation, uh, Winnie can support 103% more applications. We also monitor, uh, analyze the why WinAFL cannot uh, fudge specific applications. The major reason is uh, due to the global state corruption after uh, uh, executing uh, the same functions iteratively. Also, we observe several minor uh, cases uh, where the Intel PT driver cause error. And Vini, uh, we observe Vini has better code coverage than the existing solutions. So when we uh, measure the code coverage for 24 hours, uh, if uh, some application can be paused with uh, all three fudging setups as shown here. And as a result of our evaluation, we, we could show that we can discover 310% more code coverage than the existing solutions. And also we need can effectively generate uh, fudge over harnesses. So once we have the draft harness from the generator, we needed to modify uh, minor uh, mistakes or the problems uh, from the draft. And then we compare the, uh, com uh, the working harness uh, with the draft harness. So in average, uh, we picked average 4% of the code manually to make the harness work uh, during the fudging process. And especially the callback and the custom struct uh, make us to modify the problem. So we are uh, uh, working on the callback and custom struct problem to better support the harness generation process. And finally, we need can discover real world bugs. So using the Winnie uh, fudger, we discovered the total 61 unique bugs from the 32 binaries. We also analyzed the root cause of the problems. And as you can see, the Winnie discovered the bugs from the various types. Okay, the Winnie is a tool chain for fudging Windows applications, Windows applications uh, with the semi-automated harness generator and uh, practical fudger with, with fast process cloning mechanism. Uh, we will open source the Winnie. So uh, to uh, further facilitate the Windows fudging problems. Okay, thank you for listening. <laughs>